So today I'm doing a shop my stash video so I'm just going to use a whole lot of makeup I have not used in a really long time and this was requested by you guys so hopefully you enjoy it and if you do please let me know and I will do some more and I'm pretty sure I've already done one before. I'll link it below. The primer I'm going to use today is the Bring On Bright Illuminating Primer by Mecca Max. Wait I've never even used this but it's been like sitting in my drawer. Okay wow. I was like I can't remember what I thought of this product but I mean, there you go. Ooh, it looks so pretty. It's like this candlelit kind of champagne goldish color. I'm excited. Ooh, it's very lightweight. Like I thought it'd be thicker, but it spreads out so thin and it has a scent. I don't know what that is. It smells good though. It kind of smells like a cocktail or something. Like a mojito? Is it like minty? I don't know, it's like sweet mint or something. I'm not quite sure. Mecca Max products. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I'm not completely sold, but I'm liking this so far. I'm just smashing that everywhere. The only thing I had on my skin before was my little two week this thing, vitamin C booster treatment by Trilogy, because I just love it before makeup. Okay, so I really want to do a look using copper pigment, because I used to love that back in like 2013. I used to use it all the time in my videos. Do you guys remember? I'm going to list a super old video below where I used copper pigment. It used to be like my absolute go-to because it always made my eyes look super green and yeah I kind of haven't really played around with it much since then. It's been a long time. How long's that? Like five years ago almost? Four or five? I, I can't count apparently. Okay I actually really like this. That can definitely stay sitting in my drawer. Look at how beautiful that looks. Anyway moving on. Actually I think I'm gonna do concealer and then my eye makeup and then my foundation later. Let's go ahead and you wait I'm not doing foundation yet I was like I'm not gonna do foundation I literally graded foundation but we'll do this later because this was like my holy grail for a while okay we've got this Exuvian's cover blend multifunction concealer I'm sure I got this off Ulta for one of my like Ulta bestsellers or highest rated or something like that videos this is in the shade light and I'm sure yeah like I think I've used it like once we're just going to apply this around the eye I'm going to sculpt out my eyebrows as well. Can you hear the plane in the background? I swear every single time I'm editing my videos, I hear planes in the background. And I don't normally notice them, but now I'm hyper aware. While I'm filming, I'm like, fuck off. So I'm just going to take my concealer brush. I'm going to like blend this with a sponge at the moment, but I'm just using the brush to get a nice sharp line on my eyebrow. It's so funny doing this kind of video because like I've obviously used these products in my videos before and formed an opinion but I can't remember because like with my videos I always have like favorites and then I forget about my favorites or I forget about new products I try because I stick to the same products or keep trying new things and it's just like a cycle. So like all of these products get left behind in the dust. So that is why we're doing this video and I think I want to make it a regular thing. Like maybe I could do like one a month where I just use stuff that used to be my favorite or new things that have just been sitting in my drawer that I haven't tried yet or whatever. Like usually I do full face first impressions but maybe I could do like a mixture. I don't know. You guys give me some feedback and tell me what you love to watch. Because I always get requested to do makeup videos just like chit chat get ready with me's and stuff like that so it could be a cool way to spice it up i'm glad you guys still like those videos too because youtube's like changed so much in the last few years like what people like to watch and everything like even i don't watch a lot of makeup videos but i'm glad you guys still like watching these dogs barking every single freaking time i film okay the conceal is like a moderate coverage i would say it's not super full coverage it's got a beautiful finish though so i'm looking forward to seeing how it looks under the eyes. I'm just gonna use my flawless finish sponge and spread this out. I'll probably touch this up later. I'm gonna use this on my eyelid too to prime. Blends out beautifully and flawlessly on my bare skin. Like if you're looking for a concealer that's very undetectable, I would say that's very natural. The finish of it, it's got moderate coverage so you know it does a bit of work but like it just looks really natural at the same time. Let's do eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use a pigment and an eyeshadow palette I think. I think I'll use this because I bought this in Ulta like almost a year ago I think but I've just still not actually reached for it or used it. So this is like a little first impression. Um, it's just been sitting in my palette drawer unluffed. It looks beautiful. And the colors are perfect for what I want to do today. This is the Juvia's The Warrior. Beautiful packaging. I absolutely love it. And this would look good on any skin tone. Like pale, deep, whatever you are. So I'm going to start with the shade Ahossi. I'm sorry if I do not pronounce anything right. But this is like a brow bone highlight color. On my skin tone it's not going to be super bright. But we're just going to 
apply that right under the brow bone. Next up I'm going to mix that same colour with a little bit of Kano. So these two right here on a blender brush. And I'm just going to softly walk it. I have this like niggling scratch in my throat. I've had it for days and it won't go away. And every now and then I'm talking. And it was really bad because the other day I said to Hamish, like we're at a friend's house watching the first Game of Thrones of the season. And I was like, Hamish, did you drink my cook? Like that, because like it started happening. Everyone's like, did you drink my cock? And I was like, I was trying to say coke, but I just got cut off. And I was like, cock. Yeah, there's a fun little story for you. These eyeshadows are so so pigmented. I actually need just like a slightly lighter brown as well to like blend these colors out efficiently. I don't have one in this palette. I'll just use a different one in a moment. Um, I'm just gonna place the color and blend it afterwards. I'm gonna use this random brush. I think it's by Tarte. I'm just going to go into the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, which technically I've also not used in ages and it used to be a favourite, but I'm just going to use this on a huge brush because most of my blending brushes right now, real talk, are very dirty. <laughs> so this is a clean brush and it works well just for stuff like this, like blending areas out. The concealer is doing a fine job for priming. I don't really have any primers I haven't used in ages unless you can't like certain paint pots and stuff but just wanted to keep this simple guys what was your favorite makeup look to do back in like 2000 and let's say 2013 2014 so like four years ago five years ago wait is that right what year are we in i don't even know anymore i'm so confused were you guys even like wearing makeup back then these like earrings are very cute but they are also annoying the shit out of me because they keep squeaking it's really pissing me off so i want this look to be very blended I don't want to do any cut crease or anything. So I'm making sure to just like blend it down onto the lid just a little bit. And then going back into my Warrior palette, um, I'm just going to take a bit of this Benin, 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 this color just here. I'm just going to use a, uh, a pencil. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the outer corner. I can feel the fallout right now. So I'm glad we have done the base last. To be fair, I'm using a pencil brush, which isn't really like perfect for applying color in a big space because it picks up a lot and I'm trying to spread it and it's falling around. A bit of like in a corner and stuff, but I'm just lazy. And once again, my brushes are dirty. Who wants to come to my house and just clean all my brushes for me? Like a tooth fairy, except I wake up and all my brushes are clean. How good would that be? We need a dishwasher for makeup brushes that can just like put in, go to sleep, wake up and they're clean, dry, shaped. Just everything. I would invest in that. Not quite sure of the logistics. Not sure how you would make it work, but I'm down. Okay, now we are cracking out the pigment. So this is Copper Sparkle. And if you've been watching me for years, comment below if you remember this. This used to be my holy grail. Still is one of my favorite pigments, even though I never use it anymore. I'm still like, it's a favorite. And it's so funny because I literally used to use this all the time and it's like full. Like if you've ever completely used up a pigment by MAC, like well freaking done. I don't know how you did it. So I'm going to wet my brush and then just pick up this pigment and stamp that all over my eyelid up to where I put that other color. And this pigment is the most freaking amazing thing in the entire world. Did any of you ever pick this up after watching my videos? I'd be so curious to know. I could cry. Do you ever just put on makeup and you're just like, wow, where, where has this been for the last four or five years or however long it's been since 2013, 2014? I can't do math right now. Minus one, that's three quick maths. So I'm just blending that all the way up to the crease and I just love this so freaking much. I can't even function. Like, can we just appreciate how this is applying? It's the most satisfying thing I've ever seen. And I'm taking some of the pigment a little bit more dry. I'm just going to press that on top just for some extra shimmer. I'm just going to touch up the outer corner using my same brush I just used. Oh my god, I love how my skin looks right now with that primer. It just looks so pretty. It's actually soaked in a lot and doesn't look so crazy, which I don't mind. Like, this would be so pretty just on its own on your skin during the day. Like, it looks crazy at first, but once it's blended, it just makes your skin look like butter. Okay, this is funny, but the eyeliner I haven't used in the longest time is probably my matte liquid liner, which is like a go-to favorite, and I would have used it a few months ago, but I don't have anything else that I haven't really used lately. Like, I've been using a lot of different ones lately. Benefit, Stila, Tarte, Colourpop, Tom Ford, you know. Um, I've got a lot of eyeliners but this is probably my most neglected and it's actually one of my all-time favorites. I'm gonna do a semi-thick wing today because I want to like a glam. This is definitely running out. 
it's usually when we're like pigmented but I'm just struggling to get like enough of it on my actual wand. The reason I love this so much is it's just so easy to use. All right, I'm not gonna do my lashes just yet. I just wanna finish off my base and everything. So I'm going to use a Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Foundation. I loved, well, I, I think I loved this. I loved it like back in the day. So flawless, full coverage and everything. I think I might actually just mix it a little bit with some glowy products though. So I think I want to do like a really summery look. So with that, I'm going to pour in some LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator in Afterglow. Hopefully this works out well. I don't really know how much to do. And then once again, I'm just going to go in with my, oh, those fluffs that get up your nose. Where do they come from? Using my Flawless Finish Sponge. I used to, I think, use a foundation brush. But this foundation, I really buff it in because it's like super intense, but... We'll see how this goes, and I don't even know how this color's gonna go. What shade is it? Medium Ivory. I think I've put on way too much, so I'm definitely gonna transfer some down my neck. Okay, I love the way my skin's looking. The glow, holy shit. The coverage is pretty, it's not too heavy actually. Could be because I mixed it a little bit with that illuminator, but like overall, I just think it looks beautiful. Like the perfect amount of coverage. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that same concealer under my eyes and just tidy up my eyeshadow and everything. I don't really know how much I should be using, but meh. Using my concealer brush, I'm just going to just take that and just sharpen this. And on the other side too. Sponge. This concealer does look really pretty. If you don't need like a whole lot of coverage, just like a medium kind of coverage, and you want it to look real natural, it's probably quite good for like more mature skin as well. It feels quite hydrating. It's not dry. I just tried to fix my concealer by using this brush. Literally somehow flicked shit off my eye onto my mustache what the fuck lucky i haven't set it yet under my eyes i'm also going to use my elf high definition under eye steam powder you guys know this used to be my holy grail i've not used it in probably like a couple of years so it's like a slightly shimmery like translucent powder so i can't remember what i think like obviously i loved it back in the day but i haven't used it in so long it's still beautiful reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D that i was obsessed with for a long time because it's very brightening very fine. If you need a dupe for the Kat Von D, pretty good. Oh, let's do um, Sandstorm on the rest of my face. Stay matte powder by Rimmel. This used to be my holy grail. Like, holy grail. Just gonna pat that all over. It was so matte though. So I basically just wasted my time doing all of that illuminating. Um, I used to love this. Like, I used to love matte powder. I still think it's such a good powder, but it's just not my, like, preference on how it looks, like, when it's on, because it's so matte. Wow, that is mattifying. Holy crap. So, yeah, it's not like my favorite thing ever anymore, <laughs> just because the finish, but it is great if you want matte. I'm just going to use some setting spray quickly. I feel like myself again. Okay, for my bronzer today, I'm going to use Carbo Matte Bronzer by Galactic. I still love this. It's a very unique color. It's quite, like, cool toned. I'm going to use it on a jumbo face brush and just apply it where I like to bronze my skin. So, like, on my actual cheeks. Beautiful. A little bit just around my temple. This kind of contours as well because it's like kind of cool tone but I'll still use a different even more cool tone color to properly contour okay my complexion is literally looking like a 10 out of 10 right now I'm not joking I love it and that glows come back out after using that um setting spray just to soak up the excess powder on my face that's why setting spray is so just ah I couldn't live without setting I mean setting powder setting spray is what I'm trying to say like I couldn't live without setting spray it's just so good this bronzer is so a little bit just down my nose because I love bronzing my nose. Just a little bit under my bottom lip. Make it look pouty. A little bit of bronzer on my chin. Okay, so for my blush, bro, uh, blush contour and highlight, I'm going to use this because I used to love this. This is Urban Decay Flash Little Naked Palette. I hope they still make this because that will be annoying if they don't. And I'm like sitting here like, oh, it's so good. Well, it used to be good. Hopefully it's still good. <laughs> I used to think it was good. So this is a Smashbox Cream Cheek Blush Brush. Brush. I'm using the contour color and just applying that under my cheekbones. It is kind of warm, like it's probably better as a bronzer, but I'm winging it. I don't really have any contours with me that I don't use all the time. Although I have my like Charlotte Tilbury one, which I used to love. Maybe I'll use that in my next video like this. This color is still not like the worst. You know, it's just not the best either. For my cheeks, I will use my Shimmer Tulip brush, and this is a beautiful peach color, which I love peach with warm makeup like I'm wearing today. I'm using quite a bit. Blush game is strong lately. I am back into it. And then I'm gonna take my uh, bronzer brush I used and just 
blend all of that together. This brush is a must have. It's so good for actually just like setting your makeup as well and even contouring. So it's got a very like fine like tip to it. It's hard to see. But you can really like chisel out your cheeks with it. Which is weird I know. But it works. And then to highlight I'm going to take my little face definer brush if I can find it. Fun fact I'm leaving in like an hour to go to my nail appointment. And then straight after that I have to drive to Papa Moore and I have not packed. I'm doing this instead <laughs> which I totally shouldn't be but I just really wanted to film. Okay here we go. Detail face brush and the highlight color it's kind of like a pinky undertone like a warm kind of pinky. It's so pretty. I love this. It's not too shimmery and blinding which I like just very glowy. You see what I mean? Like it's I don't know it just blends so nicely into the face. I really like this. I'm going to apply a little bit of this above my eyebrows and it just melts into my skin. I'm gonna do some in my inner corner but I'm gonna use something else as well. This lighting is making me look shadowy. I struggle with these lights sometimes. I don't know why but whatever. I'm gonna use this in a little while. This is the CoverGirl Brow Pomade. I don't really want to fill in my eyebrows too much because they're still tinted and fresh looking but I'm just gonna use like a touch of this in any like gappy areas. I'm just gonna use the brush it comes with because I'm lazy and it's like not actually bad. I just have these like sparse areas on the top. Just like that, just a touch. This side I've got this like weird patch right here. But eyebrows, like I don't really have any brow setting products I've been using ages. I guess Milani Easy Brow. I've used this kind of recently, but I don't use it often. My God, I feel like little Shannon with this makeup on. This used to be like my go-to kind of look. Except probably more matte. Okay, I think it's time for us to do some mascara and lashes. So, mascara I haven't used in ages. The one that I cannot remember that I actually have opened at the moment. Obviously, I've used it, but I can't remember what I thought of it. Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Still, it's like it's okay. When did I try this? It would have been a full face first impression, I'm sure. But I can't even remember what I thought of it. The rest of them are like Roller Lash and my Velvet Noir and some like CoverGirl ones I've used recently and Benefit ones and Charlotte Tilbury ones. Like everything I've kind of just been like using. So this is the only one I haven't really reached for. And is there a reason or did I just forget? I don't know. It's always interesting too because sometimes I open up a mascara and I'm like nah I don't like it. Then I'll use it again like two months later when it's like dry and then I like it and I'm like oh okay. It's a very gooey formula like sticky if that makes sense. I don't hate it. I usually always do eyeshadow on the bottom lash line but I'm not going to today. Look at me. Try something new except not at all. Okay yeah, thank goodness it's pretty easy to clean up. Like if you let it dry. And then let's do some lashes. My eyeliner is definitely, yeah, quite old because it looks a bit patchy. I promise you when it's new, it's not like that. It's just, I think it needs to be binned. I'm going to shop my stash for some lashes I've never tried. Let's do something different. I'm going to use these by Lily Lashes. I usually love Opulence by Lily. They're like my favorite style by her. But these ones are called Tees. They look really pretty. They kind of look like Illusion Bakes or Beauty except like maybe one layer. Like... They're not as multi-layered. They're a bit more natural, I would say. But Illusion are like one of my favorite pairs ever. So I reckon I'm going to like these. Okay, these are still drying, but for lipstick, I'm going to do an XOB one that I literally cannot remember the last time I wore it. It honestly must have been like a year ago. It is... I just haven't worn a bright orange lip in the longest time. I think it'll look so cool with this eye makeup. So let's just dive in. This is a matte color. Why do I never wear this color? It's so cool. I still need to do my lipstick declutter, which is the next one. And honestly, I feel like most of them will be going in the bin because I just don't buy a lot of new lipsticks because I love mine and I get sent some. Um, but most of the ones that are like in that drawer, they are so old. Like I feel like it's just gonna be a declutter of throwing things away because literally I have lipsticks in there that are probably like five years old. It's not okay. I'm just going to go do my hair and I'll come back and show you the finished look. Alright guys, here is my blow dried hair. I'm just keeping it simple today because like I said, I should probably go pack. I hate packing. I love this lip color, okay? I've reignited my love for orange lips. It's just to die for. Like I said, my earrings are ASOS and this top is the Shiny Grimmin Baby Boo little cropped jumper. It's very cute. Although I did manage somehow when I was blow drying my hair to get a little bit of lipstick on the collar right there. How? I don't know. That's the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I say, if you want to see more of these, then just hit me up. Thumbs up this video so I know you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>